Why, hello everybody! Welcome back to another video. Hey, Kickjax here. I am in the process of actually getting everything sorted in my giant sorter system. As you can tell, right behind me, lights are going. I have my little safety hole so I can stay here, make sure I don't die, and watch as it continues sorting as I'm going through just about everything. I haven't gotten it quite done just yet, but as you can see, I've started to sort most of the item. I have them set up just so I can see roughly where everything can go. I don't have, of course, all of these done. The hope is to eventually get item frames down on this. So this is something that I'll be working on little by little to get everything done. But I also have a couple items here that I haven't figured out where to put or have a home in. I think once I get all of those item frames down below, or up top, or at least on every one of these chests, we'll be able to more accurately put and see where I want everything to go. But that is something that I am working for. But currently, what I want to get is, I keep losing bits of my armor, as I don't have my shoes, and I just keep dying and slowly losing all of my armor. So I think what I want to do is, now that I have uh, the gunpowder farm, is to actually get some TNT. And well, to get some TNT, we need to get some some sand. So I want to grab some of this, and you'll see why in a little bit. Now we just need to find a good spot. I believe I was actually mining out some sand over this way. Well, it definitely wasn't over here, but man, look at this terrain. Minecraft never ceases to amaze with the new terrain. Miss that. It just looks so cool. Here is as good as place as any, as it is pretty flat and I don't think it should disrupt. It's pretty far away from Houdini's base. But originally I was just mining with the shovels and I mean I got some pretty good amount of sand. However I was just doing that uh, just to get off the ground. However there's a much more fun and dare I say explosive way of doing it. So with this gunpowder, and after you have mined up a good amount of sand, you can actually craft TNT. And now, with TNT, it's pretty interesting, as you do use about 5 sand and 5 gunpowder. However, you actually get a lot more sand back from just that 5 sand. So anyway, we'll set these down and light them up, and we'll see how much sand we get. Like these bunnies are jumping for joy. It is time to explode all of this TNT. Another quick little thing that I like to do is also turn on hitboxes, as you can see. You can see the bunnies really easily, but as well as you can pick out the items really easily. You, you can see where they are, and sometimes they hide in little crevices, and they're kind of hard to see. But with hitboxes, you have these blue lines, as well as you can clearly see where the items are. So anyway, that's just a little help, a little trick for me. And there we have it. I've gone through and picked up all of the sand and sandstone uh, from the little 64 TNT that we dropped off. And this is what we got. We got half a shulker box of sand and just about the same of sandstone. The sandstone you can craft and you can make it into and some stairs and cut sandstone. It's not completely useless. You can also trade it. That's what I usually do. Try to give it to somebody who needs it. But it's there. And you also get it but th that was also a lot quicker i think in total it took me maybe five minutes to do all that where if i was using my diamond shovel picking up the same amount would have taken a lot longer i like it it goes really quickly 
and it's just something that also speeds up the game. It's also nice to, you know, use TNT every once in a while in a non-destructive way, or I guess a non-harmful way. <laughs> this is what I like to do to gather up all the sand, and we're going to make a lot more TNT in order to do this exact same thing in the nether. But anyway, I'm going to go continue getting a lot more sand just for future so I can start smelting some for glass. Anyway, get you around. Alright, and after some time, I actually got all the sand and put it through the sorter. And after everything, I took out most of the sand, but look at all of the sandstone. I actually got a good amount of sandstone. Now, with all that, I actually converted it all into TNT. So we actually have all the TNT that we need. I think at this point, we'll go and get all the netherrack. Alrighty, so after a good AFK session over here, I got quite a bit of gunpowder. So, over here, as I was AFKing, I noticed that there was a need to extend this platform out. So I believe it ended here on the fourth row, and I extended that and almost doubled it. And it actually pulls out quite a good amount of gunpowder. However, with all this gunpowder, I actually have another shulker box full, and I actually made over half a, a shulker box full of TNT. So I think we're good on TNT. So just leaves us getting and going to get to the nether axe. So let's go get all of the nether axe. Now the funny thing with all of this, the gunpowder that I have is we actually have a ton of gas tubes. And I just kept adding them here so we actually have a good amount of gas tubes if we ever want to go into business with Houdini. So after acquiring all of the necessary items that we have, here we have all the TNT that I have. Now we do have a lot more gunpowder, however I think this should be good enough for right now just to get going. If we need more we can use, we can save, we'll save some of this TNT to be able to go back and get some more sand. But as you can tell this is my portal right here and I actually have not broken down through the bedrock. But that is okay because I looked over at this portal over here and on the other side there is an opening so we'll run over there. And just like that, we have the opening and we'll go down. So down here, we will get to the correct Y level to find the most, to find the most netherite as possible. And here we are, down here at Y equals 12. So looking at the Minecraft wiki, ancient debris actually spawn at Y equals 15 is the best for it. I read and it said around 12 to 15. I think maybe 15 is best just due to the lava pools and I think there's one right around here as I came down I ran into. But anyway, we're down here at Y equals 12 and I mined out just a little bit and we'll place some TNT, it blow it up and hopefully not get this place flooded with lava because I really didn't quite plan this out as well as I should have as I needed. I probably should have brought down some fire resistance. So anyway, I'll go find this down and explode it out and we'll just see roughly how many we have. And there we go. Let's hope that this actually stays pretty contained. Close it all up. There's some lava there. Be very safe. That. And no ancient debris here. Now I'm hoping that if I keep going, I'll find more of this netherrack and not this basalt. But as is life, this is where we're at. But anyway, I'll go continue and mining these out and get a bunch of strip mines down and we'll place all the TNT or a large portion of it and we'll see how many ancient debris we get. Hopefully enough to get out our armor. So let's go do that. Hey, wouldn't you know it, after a little bit of mining, we actually stumbled upon some ancient debris, so this is our first one. Oh, never mind, we got two. As you can see, we actually got the achievement right here in the bottom left, you know, right here. So anyway, I'll continue mining and get this TNT laid, and then we can watch it explode.
there we have it. We actually got all of the TNT placed down. If we actually take a look, it's all the way up here to the very edge. So let me just go into free cam mode. And here you can see it. It took not all of the TNT, as you can see on my hopper, there's still some, and we actually have a little bit more in our inventory, but it took a good amount of it, as you can see, especially from the time lapse. And I think it looks really cool flying over top of it. As you can see, we've branched out. And we're obviously, will hit these lava pools over here, though I'm hoping that that doesn't stop it as well as we ran into someone else's strip mine so maybe we'll continue over to see it but i am very excited to see all of this go i think what we'll do is we'll light it we'll run back and we'll take a look from the free cam as well as as well as we'll look at the time lapse but i am super excited to get this so i think what we'll do is we'll run down and get that going all right, back here, I think I have a far enough away spot to be able to light the TNT and then run all the way over here to stay safe. We'll light this and we'll run over there. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. I think I'm gonna light hopefully all three of these and then run back. Okay, here we go. Holy, it looks like I'm gonna be safe. Wow, that is flying. And all the lava comes pouring down in. That is so cool. And this opened up so much. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to go and plug all of these areas that came in with lava just to be completely safe. Well, anyway, that was incredibly fun. Uh, I think we'll continue doing this way. I think I might not do as wide of a strip mine. I think I might just go straight and then go back. But anyway, let's go plug up all these and see what the actual total amount of ancient debris is. We are we just finished getting all of the ancient debris and here we are we have them right here all right let's run out from the magma slimes and lava it seems like we missed a couple tnt but for the most part this is all that we got let's go we'll run up out of here and we'll check it and then we'll see how much we got all righty the moment of truth how much ancient debris did we get we got 22, so I'm not actually sure how much 22 ancient debris actually makes for netherite armor, but we will definitely check that out. We will get the ancient debris and we'll set it up and we'll see how much armor we can actually create so I stop losing my boots. Netherite, netherite, netherite. Five netherite ingot. We'll do tools, my tools first. Of course, my netherite sword. And then I'm the right pickaxe. I have three more, so I could do my tools, and then I think we'll do the axe. That's important. I'll do the helmet. Might as well do the shovel and just have full netherite tools. Well, we got very close to getting full netherite gear, at least from what I have. I need to get boots and get those enchanted, and we'll see what they have. But that will do it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, thanks for sticking around till the end. And if you did enjoy the episode, do consider liking and subscribing as more content will be coming your way. Just as a quick checkup for the sorter system, I actually did go and put all item frames down on the sorter and I got most of them sorted. I went through and put a lot of items and there's still a lot that needs to be had to get sorted here, but at least they 
have started on it, so it's getting close to being able to get the leather here and then mop drops. So it's it's coming along. So thank you so much for watching and enjoying. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video, and I hope you had a good one. Take care.